Welcome to your weekly angel card reading here for Beacons of Angel Light with me, Trudy Healy. And this is for your week beginning March 19, 2018. And so for this week, I'm going to be using Doreen Virtue and Rally Valentine's Angel Tarot cards. They're pretty easy to find if you want more insight on the meanings of the cards. Um, forgive me for not having posted last week. Um, it's kind of busy here on Beachside in Daytona this week. We have um, Bike Week and um, Spring Break and St. Patty's Day all jumbled up together. So it's been really um, hard to disconnect, to say the least. So sorry about that, but um, on with the cards here. So psh, psh, psh. I'm using these cards and I like to separate the decks into two and the first half that I'm shuffling here is um, messages from the guardian angels if you will. Here's our first card, I just, see I don't choose them, they choose us. And yeah, that's definitely another one, so we have two. And that's another one. So. Um, Okay, so we're done with the, uh, these are the guardian angel messages. And then the other half that I'm about to do now is the archangel messages. So I like to separate them like if they were two independent decks, although they are one. Look at that, that's definitely our archangel. I was told that there's more. Sorry guys, there it is. Ah, there it is. Yeah. And whoa, okay, we got a lot of archangels today. Um, I'm gonna do before I even go to the weekly message with the arc the guardian angels, I'm gonna do that first one that flew out and it even landed face up for me. It's the moon. And it's Archangel Haniel. I think it's really funny, actually, because we're in this moon flow of Virgo. And so Virgo's, like, got a nasty, judgmental aspect to them. Um, and in addition to that, they're very controlling and manipulative. Uh, so there's a lot of, like, foreign external debris going on. Uh, and for the Virgos themselves, it's a lot of like realization of how they handle situations when others take on those attitudes too. Um, you know, and I'm not like pointing fingers. Everybody has their, their negative attributes as far as like the Zodiac goes. Um, but that's just one thing that's currently happening that we're all being phased by right now. Uh... Jupiter's in retrograde, so that's also like kind of aiding the situation. Jupiter is like the the one that handles like the big. I don't know. He's like the head honcho, you know, big money, big talk, and he's in retrograde. So right now, like, not a good time to make major business moves and things like that. Um, there's a lot of extra information we're not privy to and background stories and scenarios that are relevant that we don't know about. So it's not the time to make any hasty moves. Um, so Archangel Haniel is here to remind you that these, these moments where you're in the darkness under the light of the moon where you can somewhat see your path you have to use your intuition and you're not trusting your intuition enough so this sets the tone for the reading guys because you need to use your intuition you need to listen to it the more you listen to it the more it's going to uh, evolve 
So she's here to help you with that. Also, she is uh, here to help you release your fears in regards with your powers and your intuition and your potential. It's like you're scared of your own potential. You're scared perhaps of not reaching the amount that you have or perhaps you're scared of how much you're going to reach and it, it, it frightens you, it intimidates you. Either way, she is here to eradicate the fears, lift the veil of the fears and allow you to emerge from a place of love. So Archangel Haniel, she's coming up as the moon, okay? That is the very first card. Um, and now I'm gonna go with the guardian angel cards. So this is the eight of air. And I love this card. It's um, actually been coming up a lot frequent, um, like recently in readings. And so do you see all the unicorns there? They're like running together in a pack. And the, some of them in there are feeling trapped even though they're not. And so it's just funny because they're free, but the illusion of being trapped exists only inside of their mind, very much like yourself. So again, it just goes hand in hand with Archangel Haniel's message of the fear, letting go of the fear, and this is just driving that home. The, the guardian angel is telling you that you're being limited by your fear and that the fear and the limits only exist inside of your mind. Um, so then we have the Ace of Earth, and this is a an inflow of abundance. This is unexpected abundance from another source that we bring into ourselves. Um, it's ace in any type of deck. Um, I don't care if it's a regular playing card deck. The ace is like the best. It's 21. Are you kidding? It's the best. So it's the same with my angel tarot cards here that the ace is definitely the best of all of the suits this one is earth so it's the grounding aspect it's the here and the now aspect and you are having here and now an inflow of abundance now abundance doesn't only have to be financial it can be of love it can be of health it can be of friends it can be of time it can be of everything um so just take a moment to really appreciate how abundance is in your life because you will attract more of the abundant flow if you're in harmony with the abundance that already exists, if that makes any sense. Um, also, this is talking about important documents that are being signed and that they need revision. There's uh, small details that may have been overlooked and you need to revise and re- revise, reassess, I don't know, uh, rewrite. They're just giving me sh like just the re, like they're underlining the re aspect of it. Um, I was trying to understand, like see if they were gonna give me a word, but um, they kind of left me up in there, sorry. <laughs> okay, so the three of water, this is a celebration. There's some sort of like happy reunion that you're going to be invited to and you've been feeling kind of like inside of your shell, not wanting to share yourself with the world because it's a bit overwhelming or maybe you're just feeling like there's a lot going on in your own world and you're just not feeling it. Well, you're being encouraged to go. There's like a wedding or a graduation or some type of a christening going on and um, it's definitely time to have more fun. So in my case, I know exactly what this is. It's in my case, it's a birth announcement from one of my dear soul family members who lives really close by and I, I've known them from, it feels like a world away. Anyway, but we've got a new family member on the way. So um, yeah, it's definitely pointing out the need to have more fun, the need to get out of like the tiki tacky walls that we live inside of. Even though I'm recording here, there's probably a reason for me to have to say like, get outside, um, you know, go somewhere else, somewhere different. Um, and then the archangels that we got, Archangel Joe Fael. And she comes up as the star. It's kind of like starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. 
you know? Um, and she is asking us to, instead of being negative, okay, she's asking us to actually dwell on the things that we want for ourselves. So it's time to really, um, it's like the law of attraction or manifesting or whatever you want to call it, but it's time to really devote your thoughts because, okay, everything begins in thought form. So I, I say it frequently. You think that you're hungry and then you're like, oh, you know what? I'm going to make myself some lasagna and it's going to go as follows. And you have all of the ingredients and you put it together, da, 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 but it started in thought form which is not physical, it's not 3D format, you understand? It's 5D and beyond. And your thoughts are divine, your emotions are divine, they're not three-dimensional, so because they're so much more beyond dimensional, uh, beyond three-dimensional, that is, um, you give them their physicality after you have created it in thought. So once it goes in thought form, you start to put it out into execution. You can verbally say it, you can put it into action, you can create it, and then it's tangible. But it started in thought form. So Archangel Joe Fail wants you to think about your happy times and make positive, optimistic, long-term plans for yourself. Because without a plan, you're just aimlessly walking around. What are you doing? What do you want? Take a moment and write it down. Make a vision board. You know, Archangel Jophiel wants to help in this aspect. She's saying that you're on the right path, but you really need to like assert to yourself what it is that you want because you're all over the place right now. So let's let's regroup and and meditate and you know and figure it out because that's not something that anyone can tell you i can't tell you nobody can tell you what your soul mission is it's something that already exists inside you you already know what you're here for what you're programmed what what like it's already like in your ingrained in your dna and your blood and your bone marrow that you're here for this purpose and this is what makes you the happiest Okay, so I need you to like connect with yourself, with your inner child, meditate for the things you can't Google, meditate. And she's saying that you're on the right path. So that's Archangel Joe Fael. Now, if you want to work with the angels, you have to say out loud that you want to work with them. So her name is Archangel Joe Fael. Then we have Archangel Azrael. So Archangel Azrael is here to remind you that the worst is over. It's okay. Take a deep breath. <laughs> it's like you feel like you've been bombarded with this, 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 and you're ready for like another big blow, you know? But it's not. The worst is over. Calm down. Wusa. And you don't have to torment yourself with the past. It already, it already ended. It's okay now. Um, so it's time to move on, and not only move on, but move on in a positive direction, with a positive outlook and a positive mindset, positive uh, intention, and all of that good stuff. Because without that, it's not going to flourish the way that you want it to. Um, yeah, so this is just talking about release, to lovingly release whatever it is that is holding you back, dampening you, weighing you down, um, literally. So release it, let it go. These are like emotional boulders that we bear within our soul and they're definitely not easy to let go of. You have to, you have to like really dig deep and you know like, oh! Get the hell out. It's, it's a, a conscious decision that you have to make to be able to... <sighs> I'm back to me. You know? Um, and then the last Archangel that we got was Archangel Haniel again. Um, she came up as the moon the first time. Now she's coming up as the high priestess. And, and they're both 
kind of similar to each other because, okay, so Archangel Haniel, just to give you like a little extra information about Archangel Haniel, she is um, the angel of nature and the outdoors. And so she comes up for me really frequently. She comes up for my daughter as well. Um, and so she is talking about letting yourself really dive into your intuition. She's reminding you, again, the same thing as the moon. Um, she was saying that you don't trust your intuition, you need to rely on your intuition in the light of the moon where it's dark and you don't know which way to go and there's so many things going on. But in this aspect of her, she's saying that you are reminiscent of the high priestess. You have this huge intuition, okay, that you were born with because it's your gift, you know? And you're not using it. So she wants you to dive into it. Not only use it, she wants you to dive into it. If a thought occurs to you, run with it. If you keep having running, repeating thoughts, it's for a reason. If a song keeps playing inside of your mind, it's for a reason. If you dreamt about this and then, you know, it legitimately happened or something that was along the same lines of or... Gosh, like there's just so many different ways that this manifests, okay? You need to use your intuition. You need to listen to yourself because it's like a muscle. The more that you work it out, the more you exercise it, the more you use it more frequently, the more, the stronger it becomes. So flex your psychic muscles, guys. <laughs> That's pretty much what they're telling us this week. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Filled with blessings, revelations, and, you know, lots of wonderful things. But um, if you haven't already clicked on the subscribe button, you want to do that. And you also definitely want to make sure that you share, like the video with somebody that you care about. It applies on so many levels to so many people. Um, it's just insane. So I do love hearing about how it applied for you because it also applies for me. And so it's just mind-blowing for me. I get messages every week and I love to hear about it. So definitely message me. Now if you want a reading, also message me like a personal in-depth reading. Um, all I ask for is a donation. And well, I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you all so very much. Love yourselves and love everybody around you.